You're right, Connor. Yeah, man. Um, just been doing a lot of thinking. What could you possibly be thinking about? I just don't know if this iron thing is for me, you know. What are you? You're a old dude, Connor. Where exactly do you think you're gonna go, Connor? I don't know, Gabe. The world is big, you know. I know that, Connor, but I guess I just don't see it. What is it you could get somewhere else that you can't get here, Connor? I don't know, Gabe. A life? A life? Iron's a life? A life to who? Iron has been a life in this family for four generations. Oh, I don't know who you're referring to in the family. Who am I referring to? Let's start with Great Grandpa Muldoon. Or even Grandpa Muldoon. Or my personal favorite, the best Muldoon of all. Papa Muldoon? And in case you haven't forgotten, you're a Muldoon, Connor. Okay. Newsflash. Papa Muldoon sold all his stock in the iron yards to the lumber yards about 10 years ago. Okay? He had to. You know he had to. Mom needed those meds. For what? She's got it bad. Real bad. You know what? Look at that. Look at that. What does that say, huh? It says your name, but what does it say right after Connor? It says Muldoon. Yeah, it says Muldoon. Because you're a Muldoon, Connor. Don't you forget it. And you're gonna let what Grandpa, Great Grandpa, and our Pop did? Fall to pieces because of some skirt? First of all, it is! I never said being a Muldoon is perfect, but it's a way. For who, Gabe? For me? And at least I thought. For you. Fine, Stacy, and make some more Muldoons, okay? I'm done with this conversation. <sighs> You're a sad excuse for a long day, Connor. Just go. You stay.